You did something on Instagram the other day, something about Sasha. You gave her kudos, and, <laughs> yeah, and all the others for inspiration and stuff. And then people linked it to uh, a rumor beef between the both of you. People linked it, or you gossip people linked it? <laughs> Everyone. Because there's <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> there's never anything like that. There was never beef with Sasha. I've right? never had beef with anybody in the industry. Okay. Why have beef? What's the beef for? What are we beefing about? Okay. There's really no reason for beef. I don't have any beef. I was, that was very sincere from my heart because Sasha is one of the people that I watched when I was young and still in school, still wondering how I would tell my dad, hey, I know you've paid plenty money for the school fees, but I have to do music now. You know, that was a time in my life when I wasn't sure if music was the way to go, especially in Nigeria. And here comes this amazing girl that is rapping fire. I'll never forget that video. I haven't seen that video in a long time. But because it connected to me in such a deep way, I would never forget it. She was wearing this white top and she had this silver eyeshadow. And she was just rapping. And I'm like, hey, that's me right there. You know? And I, I respect my mentors, I respect the people that came before me, I respect the queens before me, I respect the kings before me. It's not anything to do with Biff, it's just total respect, man. Like, hey, well done, and thank you for putting out a video like that that, that made me believe I could, I could be a female rapper as well. Because when I create my music, I'm in my mind hoping that, aside the fact that I can connect um, with people, I can also inspire people that want to do something and i hope that i do that every day for you know the girls in nigeria and africa throughout the world 